What's going on everyone? I wanted to make this short, short video for you um, because I had a number of conversations last week that resulted in kind of this consistent uh, point of coaching, which is it's never going to work forever. And so I've seen this happen in so many different situations where people will try and give themselves a reason to not even begin something because they think that there is an end to it. When the reality is the only things that don't actually have an end to them are things that you do not understand. And so if you don't, if you see something as a forever option, then it probably means you do not understand it well enough to begin doing it. So there's a little mind for you. Um, and so let me give you a couple examples to bring this home. So, you know, when I was, you know, in the fitness space, I'd have a lot of people who'd come up to me and be like, Hey man, like I want to start working out. I want to get bigger. I was like, awesome. You know, this is how you got to train, blah, blah, blah. And they'd be like, well, I don't want to get too big. I'm like, you don't even look like you work out. So why don't we start with that? And then we can worry about you getting too big, right? So it's not a perfect example for business, but that's an example of somebody trying to discount starting because they think they see an end that they do not even understand the journey well enough to comprehend. Another example would be, hey, we're running TikTok ads right now and we're crushing it, right? And someone says, well, we don't know how long TikTok's gonna be around or Snapchat or insert whatever new opportunity there is. And so we don't wanna do it, right? But the reality is all opportunities are by their very nature arbitrage where you're taking advantage of inefficiencies within two systems or two markets. And so over time, all arbitrage disappears, right? And then markets become more efficient. That's how markets work, right? More and more people see the opportunity, the bit, the arbitrage decreases until eventually it's efficient, right? And so when you're looking at opportunities and you see something and it might be a big opportunity, but it only is going to be open for two years, three years, do you do it or not? It's another series of questions that would happen after that, but I would not discount it simply because you know that it is finite because all opportunities are finite. And to take this exagger you know, this example to a max degree of exaggeration, think about the Fortune 500. There's only one company that's been on there for over 100 years, and that's GE. Just one. One company, right? And so every one of those companies you might have thought or during their day might have been like, this thing's going to be here forever. But the reality is, it's not. And markets change so rapidly, it's difficult to reshift an entire infrastructure. Some companies can do it, many fail. And so if your business is founded upon taking advantage of an arbitrage opportunity or an inefficiency in a marketplace or something that is f fleeting, right, that comes and goes, that's okay. Many businesses were built off of arbitrage opportunities that created cash flow, human resources that could then be deployed and pivoted in another direction when the opportunity closes. And so it's kind of like saying, well, I don't want to invest in this uh, investment because it's only going to triple my money in three years. Well, what do I do after it triples my money? Well, you take the money, you invest it somewhere else, right? It's the same concept, except you're just applying it to your business. And so this is just a caveat that was top of mind that I figured I would share with you because just so many times we try and take 10 steps forward without even realizing that there's this big pile of money and you can just pick it up and move about your life and it doesn't need to be forever. And so it's just a remembering like, if this were an investment, would you triple your money in three years? Probably. So then don't worry about what you're gonna do in 20 years because you're gonna be such a different person then anyways, you might not even wanna be in the same thing forever. And so I think sometimes we just create this reason because the real reason is that we fear failing when something seems so easy, right? We fear failing because we might not think we're good enough or we're being lazy and we don't want to even start or try. And so it's usually the fear thing, but for some people, you just need to get off your ass. Um, but anyways, I hope, I, I hope you found this valuable. Uh, maybe this, you're at a decision right now where you're thinking about investing in something or you're thinking about taking advantage of an opportunity or thinking about investing your time into uh, taking advantage of some sort of inefficiency. And uh, if it's a massive one, even if it's going to be fleeting, as long as the return is high enough, I think many times um, it can be worth it. So um, anyways, uh, this is more targeted for newer uh, entrepreneurs, if you're in an existing vehicle, it means you've already found an arbitrage opportunity, so don't try and do another one, um, unless it's something that feeds your original model. Um, but anyways, I hope that makes sense. Keep being awesome. Have a fantastic day, and uh, I'll catch you next video. Bye.